Hey guys, Preston here, back in the episode of the New York Giants franchise, and here, Giants 0-3 on the season face against the 1-2 and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Giants are looking to get the first win on the season. It's been three games, and Giants have been struggling quite a bit these past couple games, so let's see if they can get a nice W right here. Enter Mike Glenn with 995 yards, 6 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions. So he's having a decent season so far. Interceptions are a little bit high, though. So Glennon, second and four, he's going to drop back, fire pass, it's going to be complete, and that's going to be enough for the first down. Let's see if the Giants teams can hold up, which they haven't been able to do these past couple games. So let's see if they can do something right here, and they are going to force a punt out from the Buccaneers right there. It's going to be punted, Nunley's on the return. He's going to return from the zone four or five yard line. Then he's going to return it to the 16 yard line. Enter Eli Manning with a 67.7 completion percentage, 794 yards, seven touchdowns to one interceptions. So he's doing, a, he's, Eli's having a pretty good season. So it's pretty much not his fault for the reason why the Giants have yet to have a win of the season. Rashad Jennings, he's going to get around the middle, get the first down, but he's going to fumble the ball. So the luck for the Giants just isn't really right there right now. So it isn't looking too good. That one is going to be complete to Vincent Jackson, who's going to get down to the 16-yard line. Now, second and two, hand out to Doug Martin, who's going to get the first down to the three-yard line. Let's see if the Giants can force a field goal right here. Now, Glennon, he's going to hand out to Martin, who's going to get into the end zone, and this will give the Tampa Bay Buccaneers a 7-0 lead over the Giants now. And they, Eli, let's see if Eli Manning can get the Giants rolling right here. Eli, drops back, fire pass. It's going to be complete to Victor Cruz who is going to get down at the 32-yard line. First and 10 now for Manning. He's going to drop back, and he's got a fire pass, and it's going to be complete to Victor Cruz again. He's going to get down to the 48-yard line past midfield. And let's see if the Giants can take advantage of this right now. Manning's going to air one up. It's going to be complete to Larry Donnell, who's going to get down at the 22-yard line. Someone is injured on the play, but it is not a Giant. We're in the second quarter now, 39 for Manning. He's going to fire a screen pass to Rashad Jennings, who's going to get some nice blocking, and he's going to finally be brought down at that two-yard line. Let's see if the Giants can punch this one in. Now third and goal for Manning. He's going to drop back, fire pass to Victor Cruz, and this game is going to be tied up 7-7. Seven seven. Giants are looking pretty sharp on the day. Let's see if they can keep it going. First and 10 now for Glenn. He's going to drop back, screen pass to Martin, who's going to get some nice blocking, and he's going to get the first down just barely. Now third and three, Glennon in the shotgun, he's going to receive the snap, and he's going to avoid a sack right there, but he's going to throw it away. And that's going to be the Giants ball now, they're going to be, they're, they punt it away. Now Giants, that's going to be complete to Verdar Cruz, he's going to get down to the 34-yard line. Cruz having a pretty good day to start off this game. Another hand up to Rashad Jennings, who's going to get the first down to the 47, not doing really the best, six, for, or six rushes for us at 27 yards. First and 10 now for Manning, he's going to drop back, fire pass, it's be complete to Ruben Randall, who's going to get down all the way to the 28-yard line, and Manning and the Giants offense are clicking at this point. Second and 7, flagship fake to Jennings, Manning, he's going to shoot off a tackle, he's going to lob pass into the end zone, but it's going to be picked off by the Buccaneers. That was a wasted opportunity from the Giants, they had a chance to take the lead, but they threw it away. At the 2-minute warning now. Third and one for Glennon. Let's see if the Giants events can hold up. But they're going to get the first down. Nice juke by the receiver. He's going to get the first down right there. Now at the 44, second and seven for Glennon. They have all three of their timeouts left. Now at Glennon, he's going to air one up. And it's going to be another completion for the first down. That is going to be in Giants territory now. So let's see if the Giants can hold up right here. Second and one for Glennon. He's going to drop back, and he's going to scramble a bit, and he's going to get sacked on the play. Tampa Bay Buccaneers call the first timeout. Now, third and 14. Let's see the Giants can hold up right here. Clown's going to drop back, and what's he going to do? He's going to fire pass, and it's going to be complete to Jackson, who's going to get the first down. That's what the Giants need to stop doing. They have third and 14, but they give up the first down. First and goal down for Glenn. Man, in motion, I think. Probably not. Glenn, he's going to throw a pass into the end zone, and this will give the Buccaneers a 14-7 lead over the Giants. We're in the second half now, man. He's going to allow a pass to Ruben Randall, but he's going to drop it. Yeah. Third and 10 now for Manning. He's going to play action fake to Rashad Jennings, and Manning's going to throw one, but it's going to be intercepted by the Buccaneers. 
It isn't looking too good for the Giants right here. It's going to be Manning's second pick on the day. First and 10 out for Glennon. It's going to be handed off to Martin, who's getting into nice blocking. And finally be brought down at the one-yard line. First and goal now for Glennon. Hand off to Martin again, who's going to get into the end zone. And the Buccaneers take a 21-7 lead over the Giants. This game is getting out of proportion right here. Manning, he's going to fire pass. It's going to be a complete to Odell Beckham Jr., who's going to get down to the 41-yard line. Second and five now for Manning. He's going to drop back. And he's going to fire pass. It's going to be complete to Odell again, who's going to get to the 42 into Buccaneers territory. Let's see the Giants come out a comeback right here. Third and ten for Manning again. He's going to be almost intercepted on that play. And there goes the streak that, or the hot streak that the Giants had. Third and seven now for Glenn. And he's going to get sacked on the play by McBride. So, Giants will get the ball back. First and ten for Manning. It's going to be hit up to Rashad Jennings, who is going to get the first down easily for a nice 12-yard gain. Rashad Jennings has picked up the pace. Ten rushes for 51 yards. Second and 14 for Manning. He's going to fire pass it. Speak him, please, to Odell Beckham Jr., who is just not going to get the first down. Third and three for Manning. He's going to drop back. Fire pass. It's going to be complete to a wide open. Victor Cruz is going to get to the 40-yard line. Giants really need to pick up the pace right here. They only have a, about a little over a quarter to get 14 points or 21 if they want to take the lead. That's going to be another first down from Eli Manning. Victor Cruz has been the offense so far pretty much for the Giants. We're in the fourth quarter. Manning screen pass to a shot. Jennings who can't get the first down. I think it's maybe a loss of three yards. Now here is the field goal attempt from the Giants. That one will be good. So now they tr only trail by 11 points. Let's see how the Giants can hold up right here. Second and eight, that one is going to be completed to Jackson again to the 34-yard line. Third and inches now for Glennon. It's going to be handed off to Martin, who's going to be stopped on the play. Nice stop from the Giants' defense. And Eli will get the ball back with five minutes to go. He has to make up like a lot of points and not a lot of time right here. That one's going to be complete to Odell Beckham Jr. for the first down. Giants, uh, Eli has now clipped over 200 passing yards. First and 10 now for Manning. He's going to fire pass. It's going to be a complete to Ruben Randall. Down to the 46-yard line. Second and 10 now for Manning. Under four minutes to go. And it's going to be complete to Ruben Randall, who's going to get the first down. And finally be brought down at the 31-yard line. First and 10 now for Manning. He's going to drop back. Fire pass. It's going to be complete to Mario Manningham, who's going to get down to the 13-yard line. Giants are pretty much right there on scoring right here. First and 15, and that one's going to be complete to Larry Donnell, who's going to get into the end zone. And this game is in reach for the Giants. Two-point conversion. Let's see if the Giants can get it right here. Manning, he's going to throw a bad pass, I guess. And that one's going to be complete. So the Giants, they're going to be down by five points. All they need is a touchdown to win this game now. And let's see if the Giants' defense can hold up. But Doug Martin's going to get the first down. Third and six, Giants need this right here. It's going to be a handout to Martin again, who is going to be stopped on the play. So Giants will call their final timeout. They have about a minute to go to get some out a comeback right here. Second and ten, Manning. He's going to throw one. It's going to be a complete to Preston Parker, who's going to get down to the 31-yard line. Eli Manning coming alive in this quarter, throwing no interceptions and throwing a touchdown. Third and four now for Manning. He's going to drop back fire pass. It's going to be incomplete to Larry Donnell. He can't hold on to it. Giants have 37 seconds now. Thir fourth and four. Let's see if the Giants can do it right here. It's going to be going to you. Preston Barker, who's going to get down at the nine yard line and out of bounds. Giants are a tiny bit close of winning this game right now. Manning a screen pass to Rashad Giants, who's going to get into the end zone. And this will give the Giants the lead for the first time in this game. Two point conversion right now for the Giants. Let's see if they can extend their lead. Man, he's going to air one up. It's going to be a complete to Preston Barker. And this one will be good. The Giants have a three point lead now. Third and five now for Glenn. He's trying all everything he has now with two, two timeouts to win this game. And Glenn, he's going to throw a pass. It's going to be complete to a receiver who is not going to get out of bounds. And then Tampa Bay will call it their second timeout. First and ten now for Glenn in the shotgun. He's going to receive a snap, and he's going to air one up. But it's going to be intercepted by Dominic Rogers Cromartie. And this game will be over. Giants are going to win the first game of the season of a score of 24-21. Not the best way to win. I mean, it was kind of a sloppy win. But the Giants did get the job done. So if you guys like the video, subscribe. I'll call, I'll, I'll come to my videos. And the 
you know, Giants franchise or Anthony will come below. We'll see if the Giants can get a roll right here because they are not looking too good in, the, in their division right now. So they need to win games fast. So my impression, I'll see you guys later. So see ya.